following are a few examples of the many labs we have located throughout Vancouver. Hi, my name is Dr. Jackie Whitaker, and I am an associate professor in the Department of Physical Therapy here at the University of British Columbia and the director of the Musculoskeletal Health Sport and Exercise Lab. The work that we do in the lab is really focused around one central theme, and that is preventing painful musculoskeletal conditions. So that includes things like injuries and diseases of the muscles, the joints, the bones, and the ligaments. And the reason for that is because musculoskeletal conditions are the biggest single cause of disability in the world. So the work we do in the lab really involves research and knowledge translation activities that are focused on understanding the long-term consequences of musculoskeletal injuries, and then developing, evaluating, and implementing strategies to either prevent those injuries, to manage them, or to mitigate the long-term consequences. And what we're particularly well known for is our work in traumatic knee injuries, so sport-related and recreational-related knee injuries, and their link to osteoarthritis. We also feel very strongly about better understanding the gendered environments that disadvantage females that's resulted in them experiencing actually a disproportionate burden of poor musculoskeletal health across their lifespan and trying to find solutions for that. All the work that we do in the lab is done in conjunction with the people that receive our interventions as well as deliver them. So that includes patients, their supporters, like their family members, coaches, trainers, as well as health professionals. Hi there, I'm Dr. Michael Hunt. I'm a professor in the Department of Physical Therapy and the director of the Motion Analysis and Biofeedback Lab here at UBC. The work that we do here is, is mainly centered on human movement and particularly how human movement interacts with injury and disease. We're interested in how human movement uh, is related to uh, function, quality of life, and other aspects of disease and injury. Uh, we're also very much interested in treatment strategies and interventions um, that are movement uh, focused uh, and how those can help improve pain, function, quality of life, and other disease related symptoms. Hello, I'm Ben Mortensen. I'm an occupational therapist by training and I am a professor in the Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy at the University of British Columbia. I'm also head of the Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy there as well. So my research focuses on enabling, enabling mobility and participation among people with disabilities primarily. And I do that through a few ways. So one of my main means is through the use of assistive technology. So those are devices that enable people to do the things they want or need to do. Uh, so things like bathroom equipment, walkers, wheelchairs, environmental modifications. And so I'm very much interested in um, how, those are get, well, how those get used by people with disabilities. Um, two main populations I work with are people with spinal cord injury and people who live in residential care facilities. I also work quite closely with their caregivers. So uh, formal caregivers are like the staff in these facilities that um, need training on how to assist people using those technologies. But then I also work quite closely with uh, informal caregivers or friends and family who help people with disabilities. So I work in two main places. So I work at uh, the um, GF Strong Rehabilitation Research Center in the Rehab Research Lab, which is part of Aging Smart, which is just a new, recent uh, new merger. And I also work uh, these half days also at i which is the International Collaboration on Repair Discovery. Hi, my name is Dr. Julia Schmidt. I'm an assistant professor in the Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy Department, and I'm an investigator in the GF Strong Rehabilitation Research Program, which is part of the Center for Aging Smart and affiliated with uh, Vancouver Coastal Research Institute. The lab that I run is called the CEDAR Brain Injury Lab. It stands for Collaborative Evidence Developing Awareness and Research, CEDAR. Um, and at our lab, we collaborate with people with brain injury, family members of people with brain injuries, policymakers, community associations, and clinicians, anybody who is interested and who has um, relevant uh, experience with brain injury. We collaborate with them to develop an understanding of what it's like to live with brain injury and to develop programs that will help build quality of life and personally meaningful goals after brain injury. My name is Dr. Lara Boyd and I direct the Brain Behavior Lab and I'm also a professor in the Department of Physical Therapy. 
So the Brain Behavior Lab is focused on understanding how behavior positively shapes and changes the brain. And so work in my lab uses um, technologies such as magnetic resonance imaging and transcranial magnetic stimulation to both map and interact with the brain as it's changing. We use that to try to understand how rehabilitation or learning are shaping the brain and then hopefully can uh, translate that information into making therapy better for patients with brain damages or brain diseases. Hi, my name is Suzanne Hewitt and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy. And um, I'm an occupational scientist who studies global migration. And so my own research and the doctoral um, and master's student research that I supervise studies international migration through the lens of human occupation looking to understand the relationship between mobility across different kinds of borders and how that kind of mobility impacts people's day-to-day -day lives. So looking at what they do once they arrive in Canada, what the barriers to those different forms of doing are, and the different kinds of strategies that people use occupation uh, to navigate the, the many different kinds of transitions that they experience related to migration. And so we're really looking at how people from those different parts of the world end up moving to Canada and what the barriers and facilitators are um, to that kind of global migration. So my name is Dr. Pat Camp. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Physical Therapy at UBC. And I have a research lab here at St. Paul's Hospital in downtown Vancouver, which is located on the traditional unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh -Wa people. And my area is mostly focused on Indigenous lung health. I would say about 80% of the work that we do here is around that topic. And we have multiple projects uh, going in that area. And I also have uh, an element of my research which is focused on pulmonary rehab for people with chronic lung conditions. The work that I'm doing with First Nation communities is in partnership with Care Sakani Family Services. That is a First Nations-led healthcare society which is located in North Central BC. And the kinds of work that we're doing here, uh, they focus on looking at the epidemiology of COPD in First Nation communities. They, we have grants and projects related to understanding the impact of wildfire exposure, wildfire smoke exposure and wildfires on First Nation communities. We have telehealth projects. We have uh, projects related to physical activity in First Nation communities. And more recently, we got a large team grant that looks at improving access to respiratory care services for people in remote rural and Indigenous communities in BC. Uh, we work quite closely together and the lab is here at St. Paul's. But we do a lot of travel up north as well. Um, we try to get into the community uh, every month or two uh, for engagement and data collection and sharing our results back. We also have research space in Kelowna, British Columbia, with Dr. Brody Sakabara through the Center for Chronic Disease Prevention and Management, and also in Prince George, BC, with our affiliate assistant professor, Dr. Teru Manyanga, through the University of Northern BC.